everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and we are here at Ella's Home and Garden this morning to create a beautiful 4th of July teardrop. Oh my god, we've got lots of great floral, we've got some ribbon to use, and all of this stuff is on. Oh my god, I can't do this right now. Okay, all of this stuff, guys, is available on the website, ellashomeandgarden.com. Uh, there's so many great things on there, not just what I'm using today, but so much more. So I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. As you guys join us, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, and any questions or comments that you guys have throughout the video, drop those down also. So y'all, I went to the orthodontist yesterday because I have a permanent retainer on the top and bottom once you get your braces off. And uh, the top one had come loose a little bit, and I could feel it with my tongue. So I went to get the glue put back on, and I found out that I had broke that wire, probably because it's three years old. So they had to do impressions and make another one, and I have to wear my plastic retainer until um, I get that permanent one put back on. And I tried to do it here, but a girl, I can't do it because I was talking with a major lisp, and that's going to drive me nuts. So as soon as we get done, I'll have to put it back in. So I didn't totally forget I put it under on the table. <laughs> Sanitary. Okay, y'all. How's everybody been doing? Y'all ready for the patriotic season? I know I am. I bought some things yesterday and put them on my porch. One thing I like to do is take yard stakes. Um, I hate them when people just stick them in their yard, but you could take like your potted flowers outside and stick one in there and it's really attractive. And I think it adds just a little bit of color to your porch for that season and you can change it out. And if you have like a Boston bread or something green, you can leave that there and just change out the seasonal accent, you know, all year long. So. This weekend was my mom's wedding. She got married on Saturday. It was beautiful, very pretty wedding. Uh, it lasted about 30 minutes, which was for, uh, short and sweet, which is the best kind of weddings. And uh, then they left to go to Broken Bow. So today's their, their third day in Broken Bow. And they'll be there through Friday, but they brought the boat and they have a, a beautiful cabin and they're just spending time and chilling. So she's happy, I'm happy girl. Um, Morgan's home alone with all five dogs. And uh, <clears throat> Josh and I, this last weekend, we stayed home except for the wedding. And did a lot of things around the house. You know when you let your laundry pile up and pile up and pile up? I hate, if there's anything I hate, it's laundry. What do you buy you do now? And the worst part, it's not putting it in the washer. It's taking it out of the dryer. Because I have a meltdown, you know. And then you run out of hangers halfway through. You have to go to the closet and get the hangers and come back. So I did laundry all day on Sunday. I washed all the uh, sheets and the blankets on the bed. Put those back. That's another thing I hate, you know, is making the mm -hmm. bed up. Oh, my God. That stretchy sheet will be the death of me. So we did that. And uh, we watched this new show on Netflix called Shadow and Bone. It's really good. I told Gina about it. You guys should check it out. It's very sci-fi. So if you don't like that, it's probably not for you. And then Handmaid's Tale comes out tomorrow night, which we can't wait for. I can't wait to see what June's journey is going to be like this year. Um, but anyway, enough of me rambling, y'all. I've got a teardrop. This is a 32-inch teardrop. It's on the website, ellishomegarden.com. Um, the great thing about these teardrops is you can use them for any season, not just for patriotic, but Christmas, fall, spring, summer. Um, Halloween, anything. <clears throat> so, we're going to start by creating a beautiful bow to go. Actually, no, we're not. <clears throat> we're going to start with our floral. So, the technique I'm going to show you today is something that you can use and not glue. I know I, know I always tell you guys, if you put something on your front door, you want to make sure you glue it, especially if you're using a grapevine because it does come out easily. But, because of the teardrop, you can use the tips that are on there and tie everything in. Therefore, you can get away with not using any glue. So, if you're a designer or you have a store and you would like to... Um, you know, create a make and take class for someone, but you don't want the extension cords everywhere and the glue, this will be something that you guys can do. And that's a poll I've never asked before. I want y'all to leave a comment. Don't give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment because I want to know what you're talking about. If you have a actual um, floral florist shop or a floral store, artificial or live, leave a comment. Let us know what your business name is and where you're from. That's always interesting and Gina will tell me. And then also, um, if you guys are designers, period, if you're a designer and you have a business, whether it's online or in-store, leave a comment. Let us know what your business is and what you offer because um, I always think it's great to get to know your audience, get to know how many of you guys love to design like I do and actually do it for a living um, versus for fun. So, don't leave a comment. Let us know. Do you okay. want to explain the volume thing? Oh, yes. Guys, I'm doing the best I can. The volume's all the way up. I'm speaking as loud as I can. Bear with us. They're still having internet difficulties here as far as the other camera system. I know the volume's great, but it always cuts out. So I'm not going to go and start a video and then it cut out and have to start over again. So bear with us. I promise next week or so they should have that fixed. They're doing it as fast as they can. And uh, just please be patient. I appreciate it. Okay. So with the florals that I found, they have all of these super cute glitter ones. Look at these rockets on them. Boom, boom. I love them. So I'm going to show you how we can insert these into the teardrop. First thing, just like with any other floral pick, make sure that you fluff it out the best it can be, okay? So I fluffed out my, my uh, rocket, and I'm going to, first of all, girl, take off that trashy tag, I just noticed that. Take off the 
tags, and we're going to take the rocket spray and lay it into Ruth has fanciful designs in Stowe, Missouri, wreaths and candy bouquets. That is something I've never done before is make a candy bouquet, but I love the way they look. <clears throat> okay. So I put my first little spray of rockets in there. Aren't those cute, y'all? And then I have another one of these that I'm going to take, and I'm going to put on the lower portion. Okay. And don't forget, all of these sprays, florals, teardrops, and I think the ribbon is available on the Ellis website, okay? Hallie's in Denton, make and sell wreaths like you, along with teach classes on how to do what she's doing. What was her name? Hallie. Hallie, awesome. Hallie Springer. Uh, yeah. Hey, girl. She, I've met her several times. Love her. Iona has Flower Cottage in Conroe. Silk. Conroe, that's up by Houston, right? I think it's down that way, yes. Okay, y'all, look at that. We just put two of those rocket sprays in there. They're super cute. And no glue whatsoever. We didn't have to cut anything. We just literally stuck them in there and used the PVC tips that are built onto the wreath to tie everything together, okay? So now that I have those on there, I want to put another layer. And so I've got some of these super cute little swirls. Okay. We're going to use a couple of these to kind of bulk it up a little bit. The great thing about these little curls is y'all can um, pull them apart and do all kinds of stuff with them. Kim and Cypher is part-time for the love of it and a few dollars here and there. Okay. I love hearing y'all's business things, too. Look at this, y'all. Okay, so we're going to take these. We're going to bulk it up a little bit. I'm going to put, on, I'm going to put one on each side, probably. Okay, using those ties that are already in the uh, teardrop to tie everything together. Speaking of business names, I um, order, just kidding, but I do order from um, this place for Department 56, it's called Forget, Forget Me Not Factory, I thought that was a cool name, it's just unique and different, but they've got all kinds of stuff. Josh, that's hypothetical if you're watching, okay, I don't really, I don't really order from them. Okay, so now we're going to come over here, same thing, kind of mirror what you just did. Part. And you see how there's like a big hole right there? That's where we're going to go back and put our bow. So that's why it's like that. Okay? And I've got four of these total. And you guys are going to see how quick and how easy it is to get all of this stuff in the wreath. And we're not using any glue, and it's going to be pretty secure. So you can like leave it, you know, how you had it. Okay? We're going to come down here. Hallie says her allergies are all flared up. Who? Hallie. Callie, oh God, allergies. My nose got stopped up for a couple days, but Josh, I think he has the worst. But thankfully, I think the pollen's gone, hopefully, and we can let that all go. But I can't get over the weather we've had this year. This spring, it's been incredible. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the day I get up and it's blazing, because I know it's coming. But uh, right now, it's not, so I'm enjoying it. Is it supposed to rain today? It's muggy out there. It, yeah. There's a chance for today and tomorrow on Thursday. Bigger chance for Thursday. Okay. So now I've got another one over here. And y'all see how I'm just kind of setting up the teardrop for all the other materials that we're going to add. And just because this is for patriotic season doesn't mean you can't replicate this for another season. You know, here at Ellis, they specialize in a lot of floral, but they always have um, some fun glitter picks like this, but not just for... Fourth of July, but they also have some for the spring season. And so you can take those picks and replicate this design for another season if that's something that you guys want to do. Okay? Tracy, Reese, and Floral Southern with a twist. Oh, with a twist, girl. I like that. Okay. So annoying. Okay, so I've got three ribbons here, and I'm going to tie me a pretty bow to go at the top. First of all, I hope this is so long. Love this four inch ribbon, y'all. Look at this. It's striped. It looks like it's got some silver, blue, and red in it. I like that a lot. Plus, it really matches well with this pick here. Okay, so we're going to start with this ribbon because it's got a little bit of glitter in here. And everything we've used has got lots of glitter. Therefore, I want to make sure that I um, have some glitter 
running through my bow. Okay? So I'm gonna let's do about <coughs> three loops of this red and white star ribbon. Dina, I've never seen the green mile. Is that good? I know she's looking at me like that. Okay, that's the same thing you said when I told you I'd never seen, um, what's the one about the jail? Shell shape. Okay, I watched that and I loved it. And I was at dinner the other night, and my mom's husband said, uh, you know, a movie I think you should watch is The Green Mile. And I was like, what is that? I was thinking it was like a football movie. And uh, he was like, no, I can't really explain what it's about. You just need to watch it. So I watched the trailer, and so what would you best describe it as? It looked like it had like a miracle or something. Like there's something special or gifted about the man that's in prison. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It is, it's just a really good movie. Really good movie. Okay, I need to watch it then. That's been on my list. <clears throat> Y'all, this next ribbon is a stripe. I'm trying to use three patterns that are really busy because it's what the Delano Girl ones look like a firecracker. You know, sometimes we don't, but on this one we do. I'm going to do a couple loops of that, and then, honey, I was just waiting for the star of the show, which is this four inch right here. And if you had a solid, or, you know, you wanted to put in solids, guys, you could mix in any solid color that you have within your ribbon. So anything red, white, blue, or silver would go well with this. Okay, so we're using that thicker four inch ribbon to go back here on the back. I love this already, y'all. Two loops of that. Okay. And y'all see how perfect this bow is going to go because it's going to fill in that hole at the top and then I have a really pretty um, heart kick that's going to go in the center because we love everyone. We want them to feel welcome when they come to your door. Michelle wants to know if she can purchase the finished product. Michelle, I don't think so, unfortunately, unless you come to the store. Um, I, you know, that's something I need to ask Ellis about is being able to ship these things once we're finished. Um, because I want you guys to be able to, you know, have whatever you want. You know, that's what I try to do is, you know, give whatever you want. But I don't know if they're able to do that. So I will check and find out for you. And Rebecca, if you're watching, will you give us some type of answer? Okay. Look at this bow, y'all. So pretty. That's lovely. So, so pretty. We've got all of those ribbons together. I've got my pipe cleaner. And now, girl... This is going to go right here on the top. Let's see, I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. All the way through the back of the teardrop. Okay. Sally, they're online and at the stores. And then once you get your bow on there the way you want. Now, we got the bow on there, the top bow. Now I'm going to take something to go in the center. So, I have this really cute heart. Isn't this cute, y'all? It's on a kick. Another great item, I love you, another great item, guys, that you could put in your flower pots, you know, to give yourself some uh, color for the patriotic season. Now this has a pick on it, and I want this to go kind of right here in the middle. What I think I'm going to do is create a little pick. I don't know if this is going to work. Y'all bear with me. This will work better. Okay. I'm going to take a leftover stem Okay, that I had cut off of something else. Make like a, um, a U out of it. Like this. And then you can glue this, but I think it will stay. And this is a foam heart. So then, you can stick that loop in there and make yourself an attachment, okay? So we're going to cut off the stem, just like this. I mean, this would be a, such a cute earring if you wanted to make yourself an earring or a necklace, you know? And then we're going to um, incorporate this here on the teardrop. We're going to take our scissors and trim our ribbon. And the places that need to be trimmed. Okay? And
And now I'm going to take my ribbon over here. Where'd that one go? Right here. And we're going to tie a smaller bow to go underneath it. And you can leave these tails on the back side a bit longer. And they will be good to go. Okay. So we're going to do two. You want to have just a little bit of each of your ribbons. So what I'm trying to do. We're going to leave that one a little bit longer. And then, of course, we'll come in with that long one, which I love, and put one loop of that. Okay, so really small bow. And like I always tell y'all, ribbon's the most inexpensive filler. So, you know, if you have any project and you need something to kind of go in those holes, then that's what it could be. Okay. So it says it's Terry and her 47 year anniversary today. Who? Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Well, uh, congratulations, honey. 47 years. That's how long I feel like I've been with Josh. Uh, it's been, this will be six years, but um, that is awesome, girl. Okay. I'm going to come down here underneath. Let's tie it in there first, then we'll go back and adjust it. Okay. Now, come back with your ribbons. Fluff everything out the way you need it to be. I like to roll my ribbon go to the opposite side. Dolly and Molly. My dogs? Mm -hmm. They are great. Um, they haven't done anything. Dolly went to the vet the other day. She had to get her rabies vaccination, you know, in case she gets a kid outside. We want to make sure she's vaccinated. So that went well. And uh, they're great. They haven't done anything. Knock on wood. Um, because they probably have when I got home. Okay. Look how cute y'all. So now we're going to take the last few picks. Use the, um, the greenery to tie these in. I love these, y'all. These are great. And these are so good because you can lay these in like a bowl, a decorative bowl, and use them too. So I'm going to come down over here on the sides. Okay. Use the stem. Weave it through there. Tie everything in. We're going to put one of these on each side. This side. And then of course we want to fill in the top just a bit too. These are great for a Christmas tree too. Does anybody do a 4th of July tree or have a white tree? Uh, don't leave a comment, let me know. Stella has her summer red nails yet? No. So Stella had red nails, guys, you know, for a long time. Like it, um, at Christmas time, she had a, you know, in my house, we celebrate Christmas um, from August until December. So she had red nails from August until December. After that, she needed a little break. So she had, um, I don't know why I always do this because I hate it, but they have a hot pink and it, to me it looks like a cheap hooker. I mean, sorry. But anyway, I can't stand it. So, uh, they put it on there, and it was cute for a minute, but then it just looks like neon, like highlight. Oh, I can't stand it. So I got rid of that. Then I got purple, and she did that for a couple of months, and then she just recently got turquoise, and it's fabulous. Um, but I had to be careful because one time, y'all, I told them I want blue nails, and I meant turquoise because she got it one time, and I didn't tell them what color they just did it, and it looked great. And I picked her up. She had blue metallic nails, and I was like, girl, no, nah, ma'am, you look like Reynolds wrap. So... Um, I, she came back and I got the turquoise and I love that. So that's her color right now. But, you know, this is going to sound horrible. But they told me they have a yellow and I usually don't like yellow. But it might be okay. Because she's got black nails so they'll stand out really well. But, you know, midsummer she'll go back to her red nails. I've just given her a little break. She probably hates me because I use her <laughs> like a Barbie doll. 
Okay, y'all. So I got all of those kicks in there. Now, I want to tell you something important, okay? You can use, you know, if you want to decorate, especially for the patriotic season and you're on a budget, make sure you repurpose stuff for Christmas, okay? It's red and blue and silver so, and white. So if you have Christmas kicks, especially one of my favorite, which is called Honey Locust Spray, if you have that in a red, stick it in here. It's a great filler. And even for a, you know, a Mardi Gras, you know, say you have purple or green or gold picks, put those in there. Valentine's, red, white, silver. Um, you can repurpose throughout the year. And if you use the technique I showed you and you don't glue, then therefore you can still use those season after season and they'll be fine at Christmas and you won't have cut the stem, damaged it, or glued it. And uh, you'll be good to go. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love how this turned out. All these items are available, guys, at ellishomeandgarden.com, along with so much more. Um, you definitely want to get on there and check out this ribbon. I hope there's four hundred on there. But this is so pretty. I think this is on the website. I know everything else is. And um, we've got some more exciting videos coming up for you next week on Tuesday. Did you guys watch 911? I didn't watch the regular one. I'm behind a little bit. Um, but I did watch Lone Star. I love it. I wish I could do Rob Rose roommate. Okay. I mean, Gina and I would both move in there and fight each other. So anyway, uh, yeah, Rob, well, if you're watching, you're depressed. We're your counselors. So call us. I'll stay upstairs. Gina can stay down. Anyway, it was, uh, Really good, though, and fine. I just love that show. And I can't believe that girl sat in her car for six hours eating the ice cream. I know. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. I'd have had that old lady that came up and helped me. I'd have her do it. But anyway, um, so some exciting things. We've got market coming up in June for Ellis. We're going to be picking out all the spring. So in June, we pick out all spring and summer for next year. In January, we pick out all Christmas and fall for the next year. So Christmas and fall is coming up. Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Maybe we'll have one thumbs up. Um, I know a lot of people are burned from last year. It was so fast and quick, and uh, but it was awesome. And, you know, I need a little break, but I'm ready for it again. I've got some exciting things planned for my house this year. I'm changing a lot, doing a lot, because hopefully next year we either build or buy a house. So this is probably going to be, hopefully, my last Christmas there. And um, I'm going to go out with a bang. Okay, I'm going to put more nail holes in the wall than they can be. So uh, I think it will be fine. Barbara, Deborah, uh, Rebecca usually posts a, a supply list at the end. Yes, everything will be on there, y'all. Someone wants to see the see it again. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'll hold it up close for y'all. Okay. So here it is up close. Here it is up close, y'all. Love all the picks in there and the ribbon. And I love see how long it is at the bottom. Even though it was a 32 inch teardrop, it does hang out longer, which is great. So I really, really like the way it turned out. This is a great item for double doors. You know, if you have a business or you have, you know, your front door and you've got double doors, this is something great that you guys could put on there as well. Okay, hope you all had a great time and I uh, appreciate you watching. Guys, don't forget I have a monthly design group, Bill and Steve. So if you're interested in learning more about floral design, really in-depth instruction, uh, come over and join me on what my website. is Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, PalmerDesigns.com. And um, it's 20 bucks a month, guys. You get four videos a week, a Q&A per week. You get a tutorial per month, 10% off everything in my uh, group, whether it's products or, or uh, wreaths, uh, but I'd love to have you guys, so it's DylanPalmerDesigns.com, and you guys can find me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan. All right, y'all have a wonderful week, Gina and I appreciate you being here. We'll see y'all next Tuesday, 10 a.m. Hey, Regina. See you soon. Hey, Regina, at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all. Bye.